Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel and if you happen to be new here, welcome to the Painted itself. So I know it's been forever since I've made a video. A lot of you know the reason why. I will do a separate video on that entire situation, but my husband had to have surgery in December, a life-saving surgery, and it really changed the direction how everything has been going for us. So I, like I said, I'll share that in a completely separate video. Today's video is going to be an update on what I've gotten accomplished around the house and an awesome shopping haul. I found some really great items. Some things are just thrifted, some little things that I picked up, but I found a few things on Marketplace that are really perfect for the direction that I wanna go with the house. They have all the colors that I love, and so I can't wait to share those with you. Let's get started. So since I've been away from our house for over a month and I had not posted a video before that either, I thought I would do a quick fast forward style update before we get into my second hand design haul. So I've been working on small projects like removing this old glass corner shelf and the dated light fixtures. All the light fixtures in the house will eventually be replaced. And it seemed like the more I worked, the more places I discovered scorpion carcasses. So instead of boring you with 30 minutes of video, I'll just fast forward through these clips and tell you that I removed five of the recessed lights in the kitchen and two in the living room so far. to get the drywall out of these screws so I can put this plate on there and that one will be done Basically what I am trying to show you here, and I did lose some of the clips, I am using scrap pieces of drywall to create a ceiling patch. I cut out a six inch diameter to go in the hole and you peel away the excess gypsum on the back side and leave the paper on the front. And then the hole, you put some mud on there, some joint compound and press it up into the ceiling, into the hole. It fits perfectly, and then you smooth out the paper on the outside. Like I said, I lost some of those clips, but it works really well, especially in this case, since I am texturing the ceiling. Once I'm done, you cannot even tell that it's there. Whenever you start a project, it seems like there are always tons of little extra steps that you come across, like patching numerous holes from excessive wiring from the previous owner's ham radio and infrared security setup. 
Now what would a home renovation be without a broken leaky faucet? which led to a trip to Home Depot where I found these pre-stained fence boards on sale for $2.14 each. So of course, I needed two cartloads full, totaling 160 boards, plus a random pot and pan impulse buy, and that led me to carrying all of these upstairs to my bonus room for later use. I'll have to do a separate video for our flooring once it's 100% completely installed, but just know that with the help of my family members, we were able to get almost all of it installed. I'll keep you updated on the progress. And before we installed it, I performed a waterproof test on the seam between two boards and was very pleased with the results. I am really happy with the flooring so far. The colors are exactly what I wanted. They offer warmth without being too dark. They have knots for a little bit of a casual rustic touch. And I think they are going to work perfectly with all of the wood tones and painted furniture pieces that we'll be bringing into the house. So I'll be keeping you posted on any progress made, any future projects that we tackle, and my room by room decorating. My plan is to tackle one room at a time, and I'll probably be starting with this spare bedroom. It needs a few things done, and then it will be ready for furniture and decorations. So make sure you are subscribed so you won't miss any future videos. Now with all that being said, let's get into my thrifted and secondhand home decor shopping haul. I found this hammered or pressed aluminum scalloped edge tray for $2 at a thrift store. I always look at the size and shape of items knowing that I can always change their color and purpose. I didn't have a particular use for this piece, however, I liked the detail, I thought it was so pretty, so I brought it home. I love adding the terracotta color to my decor, so anytime I come across something like this Sutter Home winery piece, I pick it up to use in the kitchen. I may end up covering the branding or simply turn it around for display, but I liked the size, the shape, and the texture, and I think that this piece will be perfect as a utensil holder, and I picked it up for $3. I also found these plaster cherub ornaments, or at least that's what I'm going to use them as. They'll add a nice vintage touch to my Christmas tree this year, and they were only $1.50 for a pair, so $3 total. And right beside the cherub ornaments, I found this set of four angel napkin rings for only $1.25. I'll most likely be repurposing these in a future video. If you're like me, an old rusted pot is very hard to pass up. My eye is always drawn to them whenever I'm out thrifting. Antique dealers usually sell these for much higher prices. I found this one in Charleston for only $8. The handle looks hand forged. I just love finding old pieces like this. Wouldn't it be awesome if we could see the history of all the treasures that we collect and bring into our homes? I suppose the items that we pass down through family generations will be the ones with stories that are shared. I was happy to find this lace tablecloth for only $4. I rarely see them when I'm out, and I think for a French country look, a small touch of lace adds softness and femininity without becoming too shabby chic. Okay, does this fabric bring back any childhood memories? If so, we are probably the same age. No worries, I will be recovering this lid. 
but I loved the huge wooden bucket. I found this at an antique store. I can't remember exactly what I paid for it, but I know it was between $35 and $40. All right, now I have been looking for these vintage Sirocco birds to go with the large Sirocco dogwood wall hanging that I got a couple years ago at a thrift store. I think that these pieces are great just the way they are. However, my idea has always been to convert them into a completely different type of art piece for my wall. So that will be an upcoming spring project I think I paid $18 for the set. They go a lot higher if you look them up on the internet, on eBay and Etsy. This beautiful turquoise vase with painted gold detail was purchased at an antique store. My husband and I both noticed it and loved the colors and design, so it had to come home with us. The purchase price was right around $40. When I saw this next item, I was thinking about layering pillows for Christmas, and I thought that the pattern and the colors of this square pillow sham would add a nice French country touch on a bed or a chair during the holidays. I picked up this unused April Cornell sham for only $2. These next two pillow shams also had me thinking of layering patterns for Christmas. The pair were only $2.50 and I can see these placed behind other decorative pillows for Christmas, like ones with applique snowflakes or deer or any other Christmas pillows. These have a nice solid Velcro back at the seam and a thick liner and they are a great quality fabric. I may bring these out as early as fall this year. All right, guys, now let's get into the good stuff. Most of these items were from an estate sale type situation that I found on Facebook Marketplace. If I could put all of the colors that I love onto one canvas, I think that this painting would almost capture all of them. When I saw this painting, I immediately fell in love with it. I didn't care if it was worth anything or an original or anything like that. I just wanted these colors and I wanted that Venetian scene hanging on my wall somewhere in my house. We honestly didn't know the value of the painting at all, so we negotiated the price down to what we were willing to pay for it and what the seller was willing to accept. And so it was priced at $350 and we paid $150. Now I think that that is a fair price. It's a very large painting and the frame itself is worth probably that much. So we were happy with the deal that we made on this one. When you look at this painting and the colors that the artist mixed together, you'll find the color palette inspiration for the interior of our home moving forward. My husband actually spotted this next painting and I agreed that we should bring it home as well. The colors of the sea and the sails will be used as accent colors throughout our home or at least in certain areas of our home and during certain seasons. We were able to purchase this painting for $75. We also purchased this smaller painting Again, we absolutely loved the colors. I was thrilled to find three paintings that we both loved and we were able to get this one for $75 also.
Okay, so we actually went to pick up these carved wood panels, and that's how we ended up with the rest of this stuff, the paintings and all of the other things I'm about to show you. Now these decorative panels are very heavy, and they're 22 inches wide and 60 inches tall. So that will give you an idea of the size of the paintings when you compare them to the panels. I just love these. I saw them on Facebook Marketplace and I had to have them. I just love the look of them. And after seeing them directly beside the paintings, I may do a little bit of touch up to the paint. One of the panels is also missing a back plate on one of the ring embellishments. So I'll probably just buy four new matching ones at Hobby Lobby. This large piece had a faux floral arrangement in it at one time, and after I refinish it, I'll probably use it for the same purpose. I got this piece for only $10. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, we paid $1.75 for the carved wooden panels. Because we bought several other more expensive pieces, the seller actually gifted this set of decorative mini lion statues. I think they're probably bookends. The tag looks like they were from Tuesday morning and they were originally $29.99 each. I have always mixed Asian inspired pieces into my decor. And I was so excited to find this Japanese vase with all of the colors found in the paintings. I love the flower detail all around the handles and I got it for only $10. This decorative storage chest is a newer piece. It is black with gold and has sort of a tortoise shell inspired trim. I think it will look great with a coffee table that we already have and we have a printed screen that I think it will look really nice with as well. We got this for $30. Okay, so these quality curtains are very traditional, which I love. I'm a traditional girl at heart, and I mix in French country and Asian inspired pieces, along with a lot of other styles. And I feel like if I take these curtains and I add a coordinating trim or border, or maybe even a fringe detail, it will allow them to work cohesively with everything else that I have going on. That's what my intentions are anyway. I think I'll use them in a guest bedroom or I may even use them as a shower curtain. I purchased four of these lined panels for only $20. I loved this small accent chair with a custom chair pad. It has already become a favored sleeping spot for the kitties and I paid $40 for the chair with the pad. The seller threw in a few more freebies. These three decorative spheres will be great during the summer months. I have one storage bin dedicated specifically to shell decor for the summer. So hopefully I will have enough to add throughout the house here or there, or maybe collected in one area for impact. I will need to touch up one of these spheres. It was missing a few of the shells. I just think that shells are so beautiful. I feel like the most beautiful things in this world come from nature. And the seller also threw in these three decorative hand towels, so they'll be great to add to my summer decor as well. Now, sometimes you just need a statement piece in a room, and we both fell in love with this gorgeous, ornate mirror. 
I've only seen mirrors like this on Pinterest or in French chateaus on YouTube videos, but never really in stores anywhere where I shop anyway. And so yes, it is slightly over the top, but I've decided that I'm buying things that we love and putting them on display in our home for us to look at. And so you will see this hung somewhere in our not so chateau like home, but it will be fabulous nonetheless. And we were able to purchase this mirror for a very reasonable $100. So it came home with us for sure. So now in complete contrast to something that is gold and very ornate, I purchased these stained furniture legs off of Facebook Marketplace from a fellow crafter who was moving. These can get really expensive if you buy them in the retail store. So whenever I see any type of wooden legs, spindles, shelves, pieces of wood that I can reuse or repurpose, and also the same thing goes with metal pieces, I always try to pick them up and keep them on hand for later on when I have a project in mind. And I got all of these legs, there are eight of them, for only $10. So I also got this awesome cabinet now. I know people are getting rid of their entertainment centers and there are so many things that you can do with these things. So I found one at a thrift store and I went ahead and got it. I knew I would use it somewhere. I have a few different ideas, but let me show you that cabinet. Now, part of it is sitting in here in the living room, turned up on its side, piled with other stuff. And then the two bookshelf towers are out in our outbuilding. So let me show you those. So this is the centerpiece. It was still on the hand truck when I took this video clip. It was in the living room. But here is a photo that I took when it was in the thrift store. So here are the two bookcases that will go on either side of that centerpiece. It is a unit from Ethan Allen. I love the detail. There are lights in the top and I do have the glass shelves that go on the first two or three, I believe. This unit is going to be modified and painted as well because the stain looks way too orangey next to our new floors. And here is the photo when it was in the thrift store. And the very last thing that I picked up was this massive frame and mat for only $5. I will be replacing the print and painting the frame and the mat. So I just wanted to mention that the only reason that I share prices when I do shopping hauls is so that you can see sort of how I shop, where I may be willing to pay a lot more money for a piece of artwork. I'm not willing to spend it on other items, and that's why I buy those items at thrift stores. I always want to get a good deal, but a lot of times, as far as pieces of furniture or artwork or mirrors or things like that, I'm willing to pay a lot more money if we love them and they're unique, if it's worth it to us. And then on the other hand, I will only pay a couple of dollars for something that may cost 40 or 50. I may pick up for one or two dollars. So it really balances and evens out. But like I said, the only reason I'm sharing is just so that you can see sort of how I shop and also how I sort of keep our home decor under a decent budget and still get a really nice look. Well, you guys, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some inspiration. I hope you loved all of the things that we've been working on, even though it's not as much as I'd hoped to have done by now, but for good reason. And I hope that you loved all of the things that I found on my shopping trips. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your love and support. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.